Hey guys, it's your boy Cooper's and um, welcome back to my favorite set to Liverpool Grammar where last time I left off I defeated Chelsea in League to go twenty two points ahead in the league title race. I also picked up a league win over Hull. Chelsea are currently twenty five points behind me, but they do have two games in hand. I believe they're playing today. Or not. I guess they're not. Okay then. Um Chris Warner was Chris Warner told me they were playing Burnley on the eleventh. Anyway, I'll focus on playing against Spurs. I have two Premier League games in this episode, both Happen to be against the North London teams. First up is Spurs, and in the second game, I have Arsenal. I mean, what are the what are the chances? Is, you know, what are the chances? <clears throat> Our match today, as we welcome you. To Maybe Chelsea have already played. Maybe that's why it's not. Telling me about them. I guess we'll see by the league table. I should. I have 24 games going into this. This is game number 25. I mean, Chelsea should have 22. Unless they have already played today. Yeah, nice and tight at the back in the 1 0 win. Clean sheets are great. And uh, the strikers can score. I think they could be the case, you know. No, nope, they have only played the 22. You can see the uh, gap at the top between me and uh, Chelsea. Hopefully, the gap can grow even wider today. I can't swear Chelsea were playing. I don't know where they are. But, um, I'm going to focus on my own game. And uh, not worry about Chelsea. If they're playing, it'll tell me. Maybe they're playing the late game, or maybe their game got moved. I don't know. I don't know what the situation is. All I know is, if I win, then Chelsea. Can I put Chelsea on another pro? Pressure to get that win. Okay. Which is what I did in the uh, last episode against Hull in the uh, second game. Because Chelsea weren't playing. Now, when they play their game in hand, and well, the two games in hand that they have now, they have to win it. Yes, because, because, well, otherwise, they are up shit creek without a paddle, aren't they? Because uh, 25 points, not exactly a good amount of points to be behind. And that is a fantastic finish from Daniel Sturridge. It's he didn't celebrate his goals against Chelsea, but he is damn sure celebrating his goal against Spurs. Especially because of that finish. Just top class. You know what I mean? And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. So 1-0 inside 10 minutes. Fantastic. Great start. Sadio Mane. Milner! Oh! That means Milner not pulling it off as I would have liked. But, uh, it's not, not a huge issue. Manny? Me? Oh, what? How did you hit the post? You had a whole goal to aim at, at Lloris. He just stood there. Lloris just is, is just standing there. All you have to do is get the ball on target. It's in the back. Of, and that, because Lloris didn't even fucking bother. He's just like, ah, okay. Whatever. Frickin' looking like he's into fucking match fixing or some shit like that. And very quick at the blocks. Come on. Kick it out, you French cunt. Oh, 
I know the time doesn't stop when he has blocked. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a foul. Victor Wanyama. I don't know why you're overacting me. He, he clearly, he, very, very silly foul. Very silly foul. No yellow cards, but it's still a very silly foul. It probably guarantees that your next foul would be guaranteed to be a yellow. Some referees might let you get away with one instance. But the next one, you might not be so lucky. You, were, you may have, re you may have uh, wasted your one and get away with a warning in a situation with the referee. I don't know if that's this kind of referee. I don't know. I'm not sure which referee this is. It could be any number of them. So many! Moving from one side to the other. Decision is a throw. It's a fair tackle. Well, they're in a good position here. Great control by him. He can. Yes. Sadio. Go, Sadio. Oh, brilliant. Coutinho. 2 0. Thank you very much. I will take that. And I will like it. Yeah. Philip Gitti here with the Biffin. He's a bit sweaty, but do I care? Hell no. <laughs> That's what it takes sometimes. It takes gang just that bit sweaty. Could Sadio the old man have scored a pretty fine shot with him? Probably. I mean, but Coutinho was the way easier option. And I like easy options. They're easy. No shots at all. Sadio Mane. Coutinho. I'll try and get over the opponent, but the Belgian is not. He's not uh, letting that happen. Not right now, anyway. Joel Matty. Did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. Nearly see. Uh, Needlessly, yeah, needlessly giving it away. Um, Fernando, go on, Bobby, go on, Bobby. Yes, he's got the pace on other way. Oh, storage. What was that? No, no, no. Seriously, what was that? So well. All you have to do is get that on target, and r quite rightly, my uh, actor is completely pissed. The time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. Three minutes. good progress with this attack. Come on. Come on. Yes. How? Just. Half time now. Uh, never mind, I'll take the uh, 2 0 lead going into half time. I guess Chelsea aren't playing. Well, if I win, uh, that puts them under pressure. And if I win, and the gap becomes 28 points. Is uh, what's going to become at the moment because I am two nothing to the good. Pochettino's men are gonna need a serious comeback in the second half. They are gonna. Well, I was gonna say that they could help Chelsea, but I don't care. I don't think they care about helping Chelsea. I think that. It, Anything they do in this match was not exactly to help Chelsea out. It's probably to improve their the, um, settings in the Premier League. FA Cup fixture, Liverpool. They'll be facing the help. Next fixture is Watford. Um, 
Referee's pointing for a goal kick. The game must have been rescheduled. Uh, I just won my next game as Arsenal. Huh. I guess I'm going up against Watford next. I didn't even know they had uh, rescheduled. I probably he glanced at the freaking email. They probably did give me an email and I just like glanced at it, deleted it. <laughs> fucking. Oh, that is filthy. That is a yellow card for sure for Daniel. I was, what was he thinking? Call the uh, attacks down this left hand side now. Just to uh, put him under a bit much pressure. Very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go. And I'm still so good. Well. Come down the right when it's necessary, like here. That is another bad foul. That's another yellow card. That's two players they have on yellow cards now. It's Dyer this time. So Rose and Dyer both on the L cards. Looking to get forward a bit. It's a corner. Oh, it looks like Dyer was going to catch me there. I was like, yes, a penalty and a red card. No, he, he completely fucking missed me. He goes, my player jumped. On one occasion, I didn't want you to fucking jump. Stay on your, stay on the floor, or Dyer catches you. He fouls you, penalty, and possibly a red card. I don't know if it would have been a red card. I can't read this referee's mind, but he's already given two yellow cards. Not the first time that's happened to me in a game against a rival. It's happened twice against. In the recent games against them. Milner's getting away from Azarild. Somehow. I'm not sure how Azarild is outpaced by Tech. But yeah, uh, Hammers Milner. Sturge's shot is uh, well saved by Hugo Lloris. No real surprise. Well, it is a free kick. Foul by uh, foul given against Dele Ali. Wee! He jumped like a bunch of twits. <laughs> really blessed with natural skills, Daniel Sturridge from a footballing family. And he's showing off his. Style strutting his stuff today, Alan. He's got that ability to find space and shoot. Manny! Oh! Come on, yes? Come on, Matty. Ah! Oh. Good tackle. Oh. oh, but he lost this straight back to him. Christian Eriksen. Yes! Go for me now. Oh. Firmino can get the cross in. Ah, oh, Deli Alley! Why is the Cam coming back to do with defensive work? Oh, Sturridge scores anyway. It's 3 0. It's game over. The gap is going to be 28 points. Chelsea will have three games in that, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> Deli Alley, he comes back to do some defensive work, loses the Ball to the challenge of Roberto Firmino, it falls to Daniel Sturridge, he gets his second, and then Liverpool's third, it is game over. Enjoy your trip back to London with absolutely nothing but a big L. Oh, Spurs, There's, your, your team name needs to know, it, it'll look better with one. Just, just, we're Liverpool, we have two. Going on, and it makes us look badass. The shot's on. That's great work by the goalkeeper. Yeah, that was a pathetic attempt. He's one of the best, Martin, at just shifting across, reading the pass. Manny up against Strip. Here. Yep. Maneuver Strippier. Coutinho. Ferrino. Are you kidding me off the line? 
<laughs> There's a full time whistle. Oh. I can't recall seeing such a Probably should have added a fourth there at the end, but uh hey. What can you do? I'll take the three now with and and twenty eight points because Chelsea's game must have been rearranged. Arsenal won Hull City nil. You know, these games in hand aren't really going to help them. Oh, it's a cup game. Majesty United. I should have guessed it was the FA Cup. I was like, I swear I already played Watford twice. Have I ever played Watford twice? I remember playing them earlier in the season. Why can't I shake this feeling that I've already played twice in the league? Have I? No, I'm not sure. On the team above. In third, Stokes. Yeah, I have to quickly check the facts. In fifth, Manchester City. No, I haven't. Game in hand on the team above. In sixth, oh, there's Arsenal. They were moved to the 9th of uh, March. In seventh, climbing the table are. <laughs> Watford aren't until freaking May. By which point I'll have the league one, so it won't be of any guns. Bottom of the table, Burnley, with 13 points. And then so there will, uh, it won't be of any uh, importance at all. Unless it's important. It might be important to Watford, I don't know. But it depends on where they are on the table, by the <laughs> Of course. Uh, no, no way today. I'm going to go with the uh, duet of Moore and Ribemar. Moya will be on the bench for the uh, opportunity that he might make his uh, make, make an appearance. I'm going to play Mensa and Diwara together because what the hell not? I don't want to make any more changes. Hmm. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. As is. This is uh, the team that will play against Watford. Is this a Victory Road or Anfield? It's a Victory Road. Okay. That is good to know. That is good to know. I don't know why that's good to know. This is actually ironic because Liverpool... Well, when you're watching this, this is before Liverpool play. This is recorded before the game against Watford in real life at Anfield. Oh, the irony. I don't know why I'm sounding so happy. It probably turned out badly for Liverpool because it's exactly the kind of... A game that you know, on the form Liverpool will are off on and going into this match. That people will expect us to win and then we won't win and then mm, Liverpool ends up we won. And then why does this always happen to us just when we seem like we're putting together a good form? Mm, see, and we should beat no oh, issue. No offense to Wofford. Especially considering they beat us last season. Mm -hmm. But on the form we are on, it's not difficult to see why I would think we should beat Wolf for no issue. Well, no issue is kind of a stretch. There's always going to be an issue. Even if Liverpool win, did win. And it's weird. Talking about a game. And that has happened by the time you're watching this, but when I'm recording it, it hasn't happened. Watford in our game today, play Liverpool. Ah, my brain! But regardless of the outcome, where Watford and Liverpool's good run or Liverpool continue their good run, even if Liverpool do beat Watford, or did beat Watford, or whatever, even if we did, I guarantee you, we can see he did some 
bullshit goal or two that we could have easily avoided conceding. <coughs> Crystal Palace! <coughs> Sorry, bad cough. <laughs> nah. We all know those two goals against Crystal Palace were completely avoidable. But, you know, you could say that about... Well, almost every single goal Liverpool can see it so far this season, and in most games ever. We all, Liverpool will shoot oh, ourselves in the foot more, or and means they're really bad at at gun wheels. I mean. That's some. Legalo. It's a good thing it's not a real gun, because otherwise, some people from gun safety would be like, okay, you clearly can't use a gun, in which case, we're taking your gun, and you're not getting a gun. So you'll have to do it without a fucking gun. Luckily, it, it's just a metaphor. Well, they're in a good position here. The cross coming in. And shoots! Oh, it's the post! And it will go into the middle now. And it's a heading chance now. Oh my god, Ribbonmore, he can't score! In almost every game I've played him in, he has missed a few scissors. Well, he's treaded the path through, Nick. Come on. Hey, this time. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Oh, tell me that's a joke. Well, they've got a corner out of that. A bit lucky. It was deflected. And in goes the corner. Alexander Arnold. Ball's whipped in. That's going to be a third of me. Thank you, Wofford, dude, for heading that out for a third of me. Cross coming in now. Up for grabs here. Come on, Genie, for fuck's sake, pay attention. Ball went right past him, he's like, nah, don't care. Here comes the cross. Well, crossing is a skill, and that's not a very good Come on, Diwara! Now, Diwara. Yes, no! Son of a. Corner, hoping for the goal that would put them in the lead. That tells you all you need to know. Peppering the freaking Watford goal. But we're getting no results. Fusa Mensa! Are you kidding me? What a time to score! Or his first goal over the club. Wearing <laughs> 21. Interesting number. Her first central defensive midfielder. Well, they're creating chances for fun out there, and the uh, opposition's really got to tighten up. He's like, yeah! <laughs> I realize I probably pronounced his. I probably butchered his name, but. Give me a break. He's an ex United player. I don't normally pay attention when United are mentioned. I'm too busy bored out of my ass watching them park their fucking bus. Trying to switch on the. Attacking power in this or miss like 30 something shots. Liverpool leading, but it's a pretty slender margin at this stage. They've got half time. Play. Yeah, maybe they should have spent all that money they spent on Pogba on a striker instead. Instead of relying on Ibra. Strong tackle. One that's led to a corner. 
That's a bit unfair though, because Ibra will probably score a bunch of goals. I would imagine he'd get 20 plus by the end of the season, even with all his misses. Oh, but uh, one player who doesn't miss on this occasion is Emre Moore. For Oh, a goal and makes it 2-0 just before the break. <clears throat> Wasn't an easy one either that Martin, but he made it look so. Oh, they want to see this. Great awareness to keep it in with the header. Or finds Emery Moore and his finish is unbelievable. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. So yeah, good, good, good end to the first half. Why now, then? Oh, maybe there's more to this first half. Or not? Gee, why not? I just didn't want to keep the ball. Two nil. That's okay, Gee. He, he, it didn't fucking matter. So the second half now, the ball is rolling in this fifth round tie in the Emirates FA Cup. Yeah, the first half was played at a good tempo, good pace, and you'd expect that to continue in the second half. Comes out with a punch, and now the shot! Oh! Usam Pensa trying to go for a spectacular goal. Well, that's a goal he's already gotten. Throw in for Liverpool. I wonder what would the odds of him scoring that had he not been blocked. No apologies for focusing on this fella. Oh, he's looked really lively today, hasn't he? He's been getting the ball in good areas, turning. Apparently, he's been a handful for the defenders. It's an interesting fact to know, apparently. Well, he scored one goal. Well, he's uh, had two other. Her, her shots got to go. Oh, I mean, that means he's a handful for the defenders. River Mark, surely. Oh my god, he missed again. Oh my god, he missed again. Yo, this guy cannot finish his dinner. Her, the opportunities keep piling up and he cannot score. Yo, oh. When Divo Origi comes back, I know it's a good bit away. Hey, because this game fucking hates me. But when he comes back, you are fucked, River Mark. Because you know Origi hasn't been exactly banging them in this season. I know he would have finished at least half of the chances that you've missed. And badly missed as well. I mean, he could probably be an unbelievable player. He might have to work on his shooting. More! Ah, oh, the defender. Her getting, getting the uh, Kabul. Well, putting him off a little bit. It might have caused the miss, perhaps. Or could just have been a pretty piss poor shot. Here we he, It's not 3 0. And that one peeves me a little because, you know, one goal and uh, Wolford are right back in this. Which is uh, exactly what they're going for. This is Ikalo. I'm not sure why I say his name like that. Ikalo? Ikalo? Who the fuck is Ikalo? It's Ikalo. Run, run, run! Surely this time. Okay, I'll let him off that time because the keeper got there first. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Alexander Arnold. Baba. Duar. More. Three 0 
Well, thank you very much. Yes. I will punch my ticket to the next round of the FA Cup, please. It's, it's, it's a non-refundable ticket. Yes. But first class, so... Oh, champion. And cheers for that, Emma. Hey. Hey. Dude, getting me gifts. My birthday's not for another month. <laughs> He's getting me a gift of a ticket to the next round of the FA Cup. Cheers, mate. Eunice Cabot. Crisp defending there on the attack here. Real opening now. And the goalkeeper. Ooh, good save from the uh, young keeper. First time he's touched the ball. <laughs> uh, there it is. Penalty! Penalty! Are you freaking high? How did you miss that? You were looking right at me. And it's now with Liverpool. Oh, don't start this. Oh, it's because it's 3 0 bullshit. What fucking bullshit? Hey, the scoreline shouldn't dictate whether a foul is given or not. He clearly took me out. That is a clear cut penalty. I don't <laughs> care if it's three now. Oh. Oh. Hold on a minute. Oh. That shouldn't dictate it. It really shouldn't. But I feel like it does. Good forward play from them. Oh, he's through. And shoots. Or makes it 4 0 regardless. He gets a hat trick. It's a perfect day for the flyer. I'm still a little ticked off that I didn't get that penalty. Well, no wonder he's wheeling away in a super celebration. To get a hat trick is a fantastic experience, and he's just. Oh, well, Ruben Mars got an assist. So at least he can pass it to someone who can find the goal. So they're looking for more at 4 0. I want to see. Eat some freaking profit from this investment. Not a great cross at all in the circumstances. So far, a River Mar is a bad investment. Emery Moore, fantastic investment. Yeah. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. The final whistle. And there's the full time whistle. Oh, beautiful. So the winner, first per, first and the event in the next round of the EFA the Cup also go through our, our Arsenal, Spurs, City, you know, I haven't played Chelsea, aren't there? Oh! Yeah, I won't be playing Chelsea again this season. They're out of the FA Cup. Huh. That's interesting. Who knocked them out? The plot thickens. The Football Association Challenge Cup. Aston Villa won. Or does it? Should I care? I feel like I should care, but I feel like I shouldn't care. Hmm. Should I care? Hmm. I will have a think about whether I care or not. <laughs> and I'll let you know in the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.